God, God! Cry in a minute! He's gonna cry in a minute! Morning people, so we are at Sellers Park right now as you can see in the background. We're gonna be getting a coach for playing Manchester United away at Old Trafford. It's my third trip going there. Look, midweek was a disaster, things haven't been right at the club. It's been a very hard week being a palace fan. We haven't scored in our last two games, we haven't won in our last three games, and we can't seem to beat teams that were in the top ten last season and that. So yeah, we've got big problems scoring goals. I think defensively, if we really fight hard and play out of our skin, we could potentially walk away with the point that we need, which is really, really, you know benefit us in that massively and give us a little bit of a confidence boost a win would be unbelievable but there's a one percent chance of that happening let's be realistic but the fans are going to be supporting in the numbers today we just got to get behind the team as best as we can um but yeah look if we did get thrashed then i think there's gonna be a bit of trouble next week at palace when we're playing forest at home but if we lost like one nil two nil then fair enough but it'll be nice to see a goal in that as well it'll be nice to see a bit of creativity we just need to be ruthless in our chances and actually you know create sign and that'd be clinical if they appear to happen if we do get a chance so yeah on our way to old trafford it's gonna be a long day but listen if we did win it'd be an unbelievable day all right dad what are your thoughts for today's game and predictions going to Old Trafford? Um, well, it's obviously, I think, going to be a different game from Tuesday night. Um, I don't think... We, we, we obviously will have our full, full team out today, yeah. other than the other evening to lose that. Um, Man United, they're not exactly pulling up trees at the moment, but it's always going to be a tough game up there. Um, in any event, I'm still worried about our forward line. Um, against Fulham, we didn't create many chances. We yeah. didn't worry. So that's where you know we could have some issues today. I think in in, in sort of getting into their half and yeah, big to time. play together. Mm. Um, but defensively, hopefully we can sort of sort of keep them out. And again, it's one of those games. If it was like, if, it, if if it's like nil nil or something within twenty minutes to go, yeah, then who knows? More, Anything's more possible. Happen. But um, you know, it's always tricky going up there. It'd be absolutely great if we was to get a win. I mean, that would be outstanding. It's going to be yeah. difficult. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for I'm going to go for a one-one. Uh, that's a three-nil. You go for a one-one. The optimism's good. <laughs>
Polakie! We scored a goal! Yeah, Addison, Addison, I think. What's going on here, man? Yoki Madison, da 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 da. Yoki Madison, come on, man, go on. Ole, 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 ole. Eagles, Eagles. Your defense is on fire. Edge is on fire. Brian loses six one. Everton are currently two 0 down to Luton. And right now we're beating Man United. This day actually might be going well for us. Eels! What a performance. Weren't brilliant. But going forward, we look decent on the counter, man. Come on. Am I convinced we're going to keep a clean sheet? I don't know. But we're hitting them well on the counter. United can't defend for topping, especially at set pieces. We're a threat from Gordon, so we've got to do that second half. Just need to be strong, learn from our mistakes, like what happened against Villa. And take our chances to be a bit more ruthless and positive at times in our play. There's been times that we've gone like backwards where we should have played it forwards. So bring it on, man. Come on, you Eagles. Good defender from Anderson. Not Fernandez, though. What a block. Come on, we're, make... we're causing our own problems, giving the ball away. United could punish us. Bloody hell. Come on. You know, oh. What a save. What a save, Sam. Oh. What a save by Johnson. Oh my God. How it's not 1 1, I won't know. I hate to say it, but they're all over us and dominating us badly. You know what I mean? Now we can hit them again. Shot from Will Hughes. Saves the Burley Bow now. The best chance we've had this second half. Now United are on the attack, maybe not. Getting started off crap. Getting into them a bit more now. That's why I want to see a bit of football quality. La 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 <laughs> I want to know how you scored that goal. That's right. Oh, it's got to be bad. No one. Oh. Yeah. Come on. A minute to go. Oh no, we doing Ward. Yeah. Oh my god. Come on! Make my weekend!
Jockey Madison. Da, 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 da. Eels, time to go. We're racing back to London. You see the palace. You see the palace. Cough home. Eels. Still crying about it, man. Go back to London, you mug. You twat. Cry, baby. Cry, baby. Cry, baby. He's going to cry in a minute. Still going on. Wow, what a win, what a result, unbelievable stuff, I swear to God, like, if you would have told me before the match we go to Man United and win and keep a clean sheet, I would have laughed at you and said you're a complete donut, <laughs> but <coughs> honest to God, the performance was unbelievable, defensively, just superb, Gay and Anderson, two of the best centre-backs in the Premier League, yeah, I'm... Um, Listen, Roy got his tactics spot on. We frustrated United. We took our chance when needed. What a goal from Anderson. I saw it in the stadium. I was like, yeah, it's a good finish, you know. So it's a decent goal. But I saw the highlights and the power and the accuracy to and, and the technicality to score a goal like that, especially as a centre-half, you know. It's unbelievable. The best goal he's probably scored in his career. But yeah, I mean, that guy was my man in the match all day, to be fair. Caught the winner and was just defending out of his skin throughout the 90 minutes. Palace fans were the reason why we won that game today as well. Played a big part. We're in their numbers. We're behind the team. We're singing from minute one to minute 90 plus after the match. It was a superb away day. It just completely caught me off guard because I had us down to lose 3-0 as did many other Palace supporters. Maybe by f more goals potentially in that as well. But to go there, win 1-0, keep a clean sheet and get two away wins already in the first two months of this season. Last season, we didn't win an away match till November. It's big, big progress. It is big progress, I swear to God, in that as well. Third win of the season, third clean sheet of the season. We're in the top 10. Um, listen, we're, we're above Man United at Chelsea. Just got to keep it going. Got to bring it on next week against Nottingham Forest because that is going to be a hard game and a big test in that as well. But just got to keep fighting, you know. And um, with players like Lerma, Edward and Mada, uh, Franco and Elise to come back once we get one of them lot in and hopefully haven't, like, no injuries to other crucial players who are currently playing, we're going to be cooking and... I'll be very confident of a top 10 finish, maybe even higher. Shout out to all the Palace fans who came in their numbers and got behind the team and were absolutely elite throughout that game, man. What a win, what a result. And yeah, we move on to Nottingham Forest next week. Absolutely buzzing. My voice is gone. I'm tired. I'm going to get some rest. And yeah, catch you lot soon. Up the Palace, man. Eagles.